In this video, you will discover the third crucial step in building your business credit. Building your business credit with vendor accounts. A business credit report can be started much the same as a consumer report commonly is, with small credit cards. The business can be approved for small credit cards to help them build an initial credit profile. These types of initial cards in the business world are commonly referred to as vendor credit. A vendor line of credit is when a company, known as a vendor, that extends a line of credit to your business on net 15, 30, 60, or 90 day terms. This means that you can purchase their product or services up to a maximum dollar amount and you have 15, 30, 60, or 90 days to pay the bill in full. So if you're set up on net 30 terms and were to purchase $300 worth of goods today, then that $300 is due within the next 30 days. With vendor accounts, you can get products and services for your business needs and defer the payment on those for 30 days, thereby easing cash flow. And some vendors will approve your company for net 30 payment terms upon verification of as little as an EIN number and a 411 listing. When applying for vendor accounts, always apply first without using your social security number. Some vendors will request it and some will even tell you on the phone they need to have it. But submit first without it. When your first Net30 account reports your trade line to Dun & Bradstreet, the DUNS system will automatically activate your file if it isn't already. This is also true for Experian and Equifax. You need to have a total of at least five net 30 day pay accounts reporting on your credit to efficiently build your initial profile. Some vendors require an initial prepaid order before they can approve your business for terms. Your vendors do not necessarily have to serve 100 percent of your business needs. Keep this in mind as there are not a lot of vendors out there you can use to build business credit. Remember to always pay your Net30 vendor accounts in full and on time. You must be patient and allow time for the vendor's reporting cycles to get into the reporting systems. It typically takes three cycles of Net accounts reporting to build your business credit scores. Radio Shack is one vendor you can use to start building business credit. Radio Shack sells all types of electronics and reports payment history to DNB and Experian. They will pull a business credit report to see how your business has paid bills in the past. If there isn't enough data on the business credit report, they will ask for bank and trade references. You must be in business at least two years to be initially approved. Radio Shack will also require you have your DNB number and can provide credit references. Radio Shack offers their accounts with net 30 terms. You can call 1-800 442-7221 to get an application to complete. Laughlin Associates is another vendor account you can use to build your initial business credit. Laughlin Associates offers a lot of services relating to accounting and helping set up new corporate entities. Laughlin Associates will approve almost any business that is listed in 411 and has a business bank account and an EIN number. They will report all payments to Experian. It takes up to 30 to 60 days for your trade line to show up on your credit report from the date of purchase. Laughlin Associates also offers low monthly payments reports as a net 30 account. The next step in building your business credit is to establish revolving credit accounts for your business. After you have established five trade lines, you will be able to start getting approved for revolving business credit accounts. A revolving credit account is one that allows you to pay a minimum due per month and not the full outstanding balance. These accounts normally report to Experian, DNB, and sometimes Equifax. Because of how they report, these accounts will help build your business credit on a larger scale than just the net 30 day vendors alone. Most merchants and major retailers do offer business credit, they just don't advertise it. There is no benefit to the merchant to promote credit with no personal liability if the business owner is willing to take on that liability. So they don't promote their business credit cards and regularly ask for a social security number. Staples is a great revolving account you can use to start building your business credit. 
Staples is an office products mega retailer that reports their business accounts to Dun & Bradstreet and Experian. Staples will verify 411 directory while you're on hold. They do require you have an EIN number to be approved. They will check that your business credit files are open with DNB and Experian. They also check to see if your business name and address matches your 411 listing. Staples Business Account offers you revolving payment terms. Dell is another great revolving account you can use to start building your business credit. Dell sells computers and computer accessories. Their business credit account reports to Dun & Bradstreet. Dell regularly approves applications for $10,000 or more if you have a Paydex credit score of 75 or higher with Dun & Bradstreet. You shouldn't apply unless you have been in business at least six months. They will sometimes check your personal credit. Dell offers revolving terms on their business credit account. For a strong credit profile, ensure you have 10 accounts reporting on your business credit report. Ensure you get approved for at least one account with a $10,000 high credit limit. With 10 reported accounts and a $10,000 high limit account, you can continue building your business credit as you will get approved for more and more new credit. Contact us today to build business credit for your business.